Hi there guys, so in a contradicting interview, Kubrat Pulev has explained that he would be happy or open to talks to stepping aside or having talks about letting Anthony Joshua go into a unification fight with Tyson Fury and avoid his mandatory Kubrat Pulev. Pulev has explained that he would be happy about having talks about letting that fight possibly go ahead. This is what he had to say. When someone comes to me and tells me something and offers me something, maybe, I don't know, but I want this fight. I am ready for this fight and I believe this fight will happen this year. I've waited a long time to fight Anthony Joshua. I am the long time mandatory for this fight, but I am open to talking, no problem, but I want this fight. That's it. I am ready to fight anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's London or anywhere else in the world. Anthony Joshua said the fight had to be in London and I said, okay, no problem. So there we go, that is what Kubrat Pulev has had to say about Anthony Joshua possibly going and fighting Tyson Fury while he steps aside. Now it was, as I said, it was kind of contradicting because at one point he said, I'm ready for this fight, I want this fight, this fight has to happen this year. The next minute he's saying he'd be open to talks. So I think he'd be happy to take a step aside, I think he would be happy to wait because I don't think that he really wants to fight Anthony Joshua, I think he would prefer an easier fight but he's got to fight Anthony Joshua. He says he's going to get the knockout. He's going to be the second person to knock out Anthony Joshua, but everyone's going to say that. Everyone is going to have that self-confidence, especially now that Anthony Joshua has shown his vulnerabilities. But still, Kubrat Pulev has waited before. He pulled out injured 11 days before the fight against Anthony Joshua the first time, when he should have been tapering down in camp. He wouldn't have been training all that hard, not as hard as in the middle of the camp and at the beginning, because as I said, He's tapering down, getting ready to peak for the fight. So ultimately, I do think that Kubrat Pulev wants this fight. It's a big opportunity, big money against Anthony Joshua in front of 60, 70, maybe 80,000 people. So ultimately, that's the biggest it's going to get for Kubrat Pulev. But does he really want to wait for the fight or does he want it now? Because as I said, that was very contradictory by saying that he'd be happy to have talks, but then again saying he wants this fight this year. He's waited long enough. He's the mandatory. So I think Kumar Pulev's kind of caught within two minds. But if he does have talks and he is happy with that, taking some step aside money and letting this fight happen, then great. That's incredible. That is what we want. We don't want to see Anthony Joshua fight Pulev. We don't really want to see Tyson Fury fight Deontay Wilder again. We want to see them both fight each other. We've waited long enough to see who is number one in this division. Let's get that fight made. So it seems like Kumar Pulev might be happy taking a bit of step aside money and waiting for his opportunity. Great. What about Deontay Wilder? Can we get him to do the same? Well, he's just had bicep surgery. So ultimately, Deontay Wilder is going to be going through rehab and he's going to be getting back to his best, getting back to proper training because at the moment, he won't be able to train properly with that injury and obviously after an operation. So ultimately, Deontay Wilder could use a bit more time. So would it be in his best interest to wait? Yes, it would because he needs to learn how to box. He needs to learn so much more than he already does. He isn't going to win that fight this year. He isn't going to win it next year, but ultimately more time is what Deontay Wilder needs. So this would be good for him. This is a good opportunity. Take some step aside money, get paid to wait and get paid to get better as well because he'd get paid. And then next year, when he does get that opportunity to fight Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua, he would be in a better position than he is now because as I said, he has more time and he's getting paid to do so. It's a win-win for Deontay Wilder. So he'd be kind of silly not to do that. Also, he can say that he doesn't want this fight with Tyson Fury next, which Probably he wouldn't. I mean, he just got battered by him in seven rounds. So getting back in there is going to be difficult. So by saying that he would be happy to allow this undisputed fight to go ahead and maybe having a warm up in between or something like that, he can have that warm up that, say, Anthony Joshua didn't have because Anthony Joshua got straight back in with Ruiz. No warm ups, no nothing. Straight back into the Lions then. Deontay Wilder wouldn't have to do that. He could have an interim fight, get paid for that fight as well, and get paid on top of that for waiting and then have the winner of Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury. Win-win for Deontay Wilder. Pulev seems happy to do it. Let's get Deontay Wilder happy to do it. Guys, this fight could happen. What are your thoughts anyway? Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury next. Guys, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Click your thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.